good morning. I'm Sheriff Mark Castillo. Uh, the reason we're here is to give additional details to the double homicide uh, which occurred in Darlington this morning. Uh, this morning at approximately 4.35 a.m., the Montgomery County Central Communications Center received a 911 call from Brandy Worley, age 30. Brandy stated the address of the emergency was 203 South Madison Street in Darlington. Brandy further stated, and I quote, I just stabbed myself and killed my two children. EMS and law enforcement were dispatched to the scene while the dispatcher kept Worley on the telephone. The first deputy arrived, arrived at the residence and confirmed that two children were in fact deceased at 4.43 a.m. The victims have been identified as Tyler Worley, age seven, white male, and Charlie Worley, age three, white female. Brandy Worley made an admission to the deputy that she had killed her two children. Brandy was later transported to the hospital with self-inflicted injuries to her neck. At the time of this release, she's being treated at Methodist Hospital in Indianapolis. The Montgomery County Coroner has informed me he has scheduled autopsies for both children tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Our detectives are still in the process of interviewing witnesses in this case, and a detective will be attempting to interview Brandy Worley as soon as her medical condition allows. No additional details of this crime will be released until the investigation is complete as to not jeopardize the integrity of the investigation. I can't imagine the pain and the grief that these families are experiencing this morning. Please keep these families in your thoughts and prayers. I'll be happy to answer any questions I can. Can you tell us about the children's father, the relationship with Brandy, and the, where things stand The children's father was at home. Um, however, he was in the basement. He was asleep and unaware that these crimes had been committed. Is the couple married? They are. Have there been problems at this house prior to this? Um, I checked our calls for service and I could find no calls at that residence or dealings with either one of them with the exception of Brandy Worley was involved in a car accident at some point. So she admitted to doing it, did she give any reason why? Um, I, I, she did admit to doing it and I don't want to give any additional details at this point. Do you believe that she's mentally ill or are there any those suspicions? Uh, I would have no way of, of basing any opinion on that at this point. And you said an autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow, but um, I mean, is there any more details as far as um, the weapon use, the you know, strangulation? Uh, I expect additional information to come out once the investigation is complete. Again, as I said, I don't want to jeopardize the integrity at this point. Uh, we still have witnesses to talk to. I don't want people to see something on the news that could change their testimony. Did she also stab her children? Uh, again, I, I don't want to go into those details right now. Was there anyone else at the home other than the father? Uh, not at the time of, of this crime, no. It, this is extremely unusual. We, we are not used to dealing with things like this. Where in the house did this occur? It occurred in the children's bedroom. They both shared a room? Uh, I, I can't answer that, but this morning it was, yes. Do you know what her condition is right now? Thoughts? I do not. Did this happen, do you guys believe, immediately before this call came in, or was there a time delay? Or um, I, I really, that's our belief, but I can't, I can't say for certain that that's the case at, at this point. We, we have been unable to get to speak to her in more detail. We, we plan to do that as soon as her, her condition allows. Have you spoken to any other family members and how are they taking it at this point? I mean, you can, how do you, how do you think? It's not good. Yes, we have, and 
I mean, I think that answers itself. Where's the father at right now? I mean, I guess just in terms of, of course, location, but also I'm guessing you woke him up and told him what happened as well. Yeah, I, I'm not going to release where the father's at at this point uh, to respect his privacy. Um, we are aware and we're in contact with him if necessary. What else can you tell us about Brandy as far as what type of job she holds, any um, positions or volunteer things she does in the community? I, I can't speak to that right now because I don't know. The, those things, of course, will be looked into as part of the investigation. Do you have an age for Brandy? Uh, you might have said it. Brandy is 30, I believe. And can you go through the spellings of each of the names for yes. the children? Brandy is B-R-A-N-D-I, Worley, W-O-R-L-E-Y. Uh -huh. Tyler is T-Y-L-E-R, same last name. And Charlie is C-H-A-R-L-I-E, same last name. And just to clarify, you said, of course, they were married. These are both of their children, correct? Correct. Was she ever been arrested? Not with us. Um, I can't speak to anywhere else at this point. That again will be part of the investigation. Are they all? Are they going to natives or are they transplants here? I can't answer that. I don't know. Did she seem remorseful when uh, she called or when you guys arrived at the scene? No. What was her demeanor? Matter of fact. How does that strike you? Just in the whole scheme of this horrific morning. Um, I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs>